But this guy is on all the front pages. Now, this is, he's the unluckiest bloke in, in Britain today because they've been, there's been this post office inquiry going on, almost under the radar, by the way, and then the ITV drama happens, and then it turns out he's giving evidence the next day. And he is, he's accused of acting like the mafia and so on. He's a post office investigator. He's the one who had to go to the post offices and say, right, cough up. We know you took the money. And he was accused of doing intimidating and gangster-style behaviour. Have a listen to his defence. It says, would you like to tell me what happened to the money? She says, I don't know where the money is. I've told you. And you say, you've told me a pack of lies. Pack of lies um, sounds somewhat like language you might see in a... 1970s television detective show. It's a pace interview and, and it's, not, it's not a nice interview. It, it is a criminal, it's a criminal interview in accordance with pace. It went through the court system afterwards and not, nothing was picked up by a, by a defence team to say that it was oppressive or aggressive. So when he says a PACE interview, that's the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, and that means it's on a, a kind of a formal setting. And the problem with this, as everyone has pointed out, the post office is investigating and prosecuting a crime against itself. So that doesn't work at all. Here's the, this is the sketch by Quentin Lex. Again, he's throwing the book at this guy, saying a prickly cog who went vague when asked about his bonus. He admitted he didn't understand technology. It's not, I mean, it's just a tiny part of the story, but it's dreadful, Nina. It, it's, it's, it is quite dreadful. And when you see these characters who are involved uh, at various levels in this, this whole grotesque scandal, you can understand why, because, you know, his, his kind of um, approach yes, I was only doing my duty. Um, and there are ways and ways of doing it. But, well, he'd know, been watching episodes of The Sweeney, hadn't he, basically? Well, yeah. he, exactly. And then he was, he was asked, you know, he, he, he signed something, but he didn't know. He, he knew nothing. They're all going to say that, and it's just not good enough. It just really isn't good enough. And the, the whole chapter of lies and, and, and the cover-up, the cover-up when they all knew... The thing is, he, when he, I, I, I followed this and I watched it, and, and he was asked, listen, mate, it wasn't actually, he didn't call him mate. The barrister said, um, you must have, you saw, now this was going on in, in the mid-2000s. In 1999, they had the first article saying, something's wrong with the Horizon software. Did you not know about that? And he said, well, I would have expected my boss to tell me. So he's just basically passing the buck. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's interesting because it's, it's, it's awful and it is a horrific cover-up. And the fact that people knew about it and everyone knew about it, I... I one thing I just thought, I was play, just playing devil's advocate for, for one second. It's when, you're, when you think you're on a sure footing and you are asked to go and deliver a job and you think people have been criminal, I'm just high paying high No, 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 let's find you. You, you, feel, you feel like you're, you've got the, the, the power of the, of the government behind you. You can sort of do what True. you want. When you ever conduct yourself now, most of the time you don't believe you're going to be take, talked about it in court or read about it in the paper. So if I have interactions with you or I address someone down or someone worked for me, whatever it might be, I wouldn't obviously act like a mafia boss, but you would say things potentially mm -hmm. that out of context don't sound great. I, I just, I think he obviously hasn't conducted himself in a good way. The whole thing is, is rife with scandal, but it is very difficult to sit in a court and then go, this is what you said all that time ago, yeah, thinking you were empowered to do a job and thinking that everybody was guilty, understood, potentially. Understood, but leaving him aside, you think about Ofsted. Ofsted send in what looks to have been a pretty bad school inspector who's who's inappropriate with the, the head teacher, doesn't isn't fair on her. She takes her own life. Famous story. Ofsted have paused inspections. They've had a massive look at what they do. The post office, there were suicides here. There was all kinds of... Yes. They never stopped for a second. No, I, 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 there was a very good panorama on late on Thursday night, which I watched, and... Um, they had an ex-Horizon engineer from back in the 90s. Back in the, in the 90s, he said, we knew from the start there were problems. We knew absolutely from the start. Um, and, th and they're just horrific stories. There's right. a, there was this woman who, whose husband had, had, had walked in front of a I bus. I know. All true. And, uh, what just... the, I was watching the, the, the thing with a programme, the, the ITV drama, writers, and they said we had to make it so accurate because we knew otherwise yes. we'd be attacked. So everything we see in it happened.